The events in this film took place in June of 2005. Four friends set out to make a film, Silent Invaders. On that shoot, two of them, Phil Wayneman and Joe Ogden, will go missing. Only for Phil to return one year to the day, with no idea, and Joe, much later, with absolutely no idea. The only proof, a few photographs taken by camera woman Tina Watkin and the strange interdimensional images captured on Joe's camcorder tapes and the confused ramblings of Keith Wilcock. My name is Lizzie Mystery. This film, Silent Invaders, The Day of the Missing. A glorious summer's day in West Yorkshire. Down by Ogden Waters, Halifax. In 2005, video cameras were coming down to pocket money prices. Even very poor artists, like Phil and Joe, could afford an SD camcorder. Here, the guys look happy. They pose with a cardboard cutout of Keith Wilcock. Phil loads the light-sensitive SD tape into the camcorder. But how things will change as the day goes on. The light looked so different here. Joe went off to sniff the flowers, while Phil posed with Keith's stiff cut-out avatar. Bored out of her mind, Tina thought she'd seen something in the long grass. And she had. It was the rare bog orchid, Priamus demonium, known for causing hallucinatory states. In the Middle Ages, they called it the Devil's Pink Bulbells. We believe Tina's camera overheated. By the time she caught up with the lads, Joe Ogden was already having aberrations. He here confesses to Phil he was... dischuffed. He'd seen totems and wood spirits in the forest, shows, the one actor and the crew members, the images of Hell's Mouth. Now let us take a look. For those of a delicate nature, shut your eyes now. The creepy light in the trees, one tree keeping a beady eye on you, the bare totem pole, note, the Masonic symbol at the top, the rude cross-eyed lizard thing, also from Hell, the smoking forest, the green slimy tree, the odd-shaped dragon tree, an evil spectacle and horned whatever this is. Tina was bored again and went off to photograph ducks. A very small waterfall. Some sticks, one of which was in the water. And two sheep who are eating grass. When she returns, Keith was just sat looking into space. He rambled something about Phil and Joe just going. Just gone, he said in a faraway voice. Keith, with his head in his hands, changed forevermore. The police were at a loss to know where the two missing talents had gone. Not even the specialist unit could work it out. Tina's sticks weren't giving them any clues. They harvested the bog orchids for closer inspection and a quick sniff. And after a few hours in their blue Wendy house, come Earth Lou, they reported, Nothing strange to report. Well, apart from having laughed uncontrollably at an old football. Here, hanging from a Wellington, in a tree. That would have been the end of the story, until about a year ago. A woodlifting explorer found the SD tape from Joe's camcorder. Under these very logs, the ungodly tape with the images you have been eyewitnesses to, the actual evil tape in this wicked case. As of this documentary, Silent Invader, now nearly 20 years on, remains unfinished. Phil Wayneman returned to make his films a year after this incident. Tina Watkin helps out an African orphanage with her charity work and duck videos. Keith Wilcock, he is never seen on film without some kind of heavy makeup. They nicknamed him the mime artist Marcel Marceau. As for Joe Ogden, he is resigned to making films nobody understands. Odd, silly films. Really, really silly ones. Daft, in fact. My name is Lizzie Mystery, and this is Mystery Radio. And now, video. I'm a robot. Good night. <laughs>